Okay, getting my screen set up. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class here. Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is A-OK. -okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, say yes in the chat so I know there are no problems. There are no technical difficulties. If you say yes, that means you can see me and hear me and everything is okay. <clears throat> All right, I see Saima. Saima says yes, thank you. Sleepwalker says yes, thank you very much. Tetsuro says yes, thank you Tetsuro. Samuel says yes, thank you Samuel. Lolly says yes, thank you Lolly. Tomas says yes, thank you Tomas. Fabricio says yes, thank you Fabricio. Cecilia says yes. Thank you, Cecilia. Thank you. All right, Costa Manga. Hello. Thank you so much. Ella says yes. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> you can see me and hear me. That is good to know because everything's working fine and we have no technical difficulties. Esther says yes. Thank you, Esther. Yes, yes, yes. Well, um, Uden says yes. Thank you, Uden. Okay, great. Wild Live, hello. Mary says yes. Thank you so much, Mary. Yes, yes, yes. I'm feeling good. I hope you are feeling good too. Miley says yes. Yay, Miley. <laughs> Asia says yes. Thank you, Asia. Yeah. Okay, well. Let's do what we always do. Yes, we always have a toast for good luck. We always start with the toast. So whatever you're drinking, pick it up for our toast. And we're having two toasts. Yes, two toasts. Our first toast is to the green team. You see them. Their names are in green. They support me. They support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you, thank you. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheer, no, yeah. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Mm. Our second toast is for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Okay, good, good, good. Well, about today's lesson plan, and here it is on this sheet of paper. We're doing three activities today. We're going to review a worksheet. Yeah, so it's a little difficult, so let's do it again. We did it on Saturday, last Saturday, so we're going to do it again because it's a little challenging, so um, it's good for us to review it, and it's good for us to practice it again. Okay, then after the worksheet, we're going to do dictation cards. Right here, we got dictation cards. And then we are going to do Lolly's Revenge. Yeah, Lolly's Revenge, that is a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue, Joe and Sue. And there are four steps. So um, lots of practice for you. We are going to do, we're going to practice a lot of English. You're gonna write sentences in the chat. You're going to shadow with me, you're going to have dictation practice, you're going to have a conversation, we're going to have a conversation together, that is Lolly's Revenge, and many other things as always. And one other thing I want to say about the chat, only subscribers can enter the chat. I do that to keep the spamming out, to keep the bots out, so we have a fun and safe place to practice our English together. One more time. Only subscribers can be in the chat. I do that to keep the bots out, to keep the spamming out, so we have a safe and fun place to practice English together. So if you want to enter the chat, please 
Subscribe, yes. Okay, well, we should get right into it, shouldn't we? Yes, let's do it. So um, let's review a worksheet. And this is the worksheet right here. And you can, this, you can get the PDF file on my Patreon page. And the JPEG is on my YouTube homepage. And the links are in the description below for your own copy. Yeah. But if you don't have a copy, that's okay because I'm going to put it on the screen so you will be able to see it without any trouble. Okay. Before we, um, before I show you the worksheet, I want to um, talk a little bit about it. Okay. And the, the pattern is going to be the pattern, where is the pattern? Hold on, hold on, here is the pattern right here. Yeah, okay. So the topic is I've already. I've, or I have. I have already. And then we want the, the past participle. A second okay so that that's that is the the pattern there I have already so you're describing something that you have um, that's completed right so the action is completed I have already done that the action is completed and um, about the conjugation Okay, so the conjugation, so I have, right? I have, you have, they have, we have. Okay, now th for the third person, oh, 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 wait, 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 this is, okay, so then, Okay, so, and then if you want to um, combine it into one word, right, then this equals I've, yeah, and this equals you've, and this equals they've, and this equals we've. Okay, so that, that's, that, that, that is basic, right? So we understand that. I have, I've. You have, you've. They have, they've. We have, we. Or we have, we've. Okay? Now, what's kind of strange here is when we do the third person. So, um, okay. He has, she has, it has. Okay? So that, okay, we understand that. But the if we want to combine the two into one, Okay, if we want to make one word from that, now this is going to be kind of strange. It's he's. <laughs> okay, so it looks like he is, but we pronounce it he's. 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 Okay, it, it's strange. It's weird, but that's the way it is. I'm sorry. She's. 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 It's, 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 he's, he's, she's, she's, it's, he has, he's, she has, she's, it has, it's. Okay, so that is, right, we could, we can understand this. I have, I've, right, that sounds normal. You have, you've, they have, they've, we have, we've. This is the tricky thing. He has, he's, she has, she's. It has its. So I'm sorry. That's the way it is. And I, I'm sure that, like, yeah. So, I mean, what, what we do here is, like, um, to, to combine the two, right, you have I have, and then we chop the, the H and A off, right? But here, if for he's, right, we can't 
we have to take the we have to take the H off, right? You can't have H E H, right? So we have to take the H off. And then if we have um, H E apostrophe A S, that's really weird. And so you have to take the the two the H A off, and so then it becomes keys. You have to take the H A off, and it becomes she's. You have to take the H A off, and it becomes it's. Okay. So um, I wanted to um, demonstrate that. I wanted to point that out to you in case you had some um, questions or like, ah, I, that, that, looks, that looks strange, right? So it looks strange, but um, that's the way it is. That's, so, okay, good, Lolly. So if you look at Lolly's sentence, she's already done her homework. She's already done her homework. Or you could say, if you don't want to, if you don't want to, um, if you want to separate it, then you say she has already done her homework. Miley, um, I have already done my quicks. I don't know or quirks, quirks today. My I've already. Okay, good, good. She's already. Okay, so you guys see the pattern here, and so you guys got it. No problem. The, the worksheet, we're going to use the three, we're going to use three tenses, okay? We're going to use uh, the, the, the simple tense or, or we can say the, <clears throat> the base verb, okay, base verb. Okay, we're going to use the simple tense or the base verb. Uh, then we're going to do the past participle. So this is going to be the one. Two is going to be past participle. Past. Okay, and, and then we're going to use um, the past tense. Or we could say the simple past. Okay, so um, let's call it simple past. Let's call it simple past. So we have simple, we have the simple tense, the simple tense, the past participle tense, and the simple past. Okay, or Okay, and, or actually, there's some irregular, so let's call it, I'm sorry. Let this, simple past would, would just be like the ED, but we have some irregular, so let's call it past tense again, sorry. Okay, and let's call it base verb, because we're going to have some irregular, we're going to have irregular verbs, so let's call it the base verb. Sorry, everyone. Okay, let's call it base verb. Okay, that that may that might make it simpler. So we have, we're going to use base verb, past participle, past tense. So like for example, uh, see, <coughs> saw. No, 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 no. Seen. Sorry, seen. And then saw. Okay, and so we're going to, in the conversation, we're going to use all these three. The base verb, see, the, the past participle, seen, and the past tense, saw. Four examples. For example, we got others, of course. Okay, and let's, let's now look at the, at the worksheet, and I can explain more. So let's open it up. There it is. Make it large, make it larger so you can see easily. Okay, so let's bring it down here, okay? So there is the conversation, it says A, B, A, B. Okay, so as you can see, let me make it larger because some people, maybe they're using their phone right now. You know, if, if you're using like a desktop computer, then you can see without a problem. But if you're using a smartphone or something, then the screen is smaller. So 
anyways, here we go. So we have A, B, A, B. And so you can see, so the, the verb go is in bold. So it's, it's darker than the others, right? So it's bold. And here, we're using going to. So that's the future. And so we use the base verb. Okay, so going to and then base verb. So I'll go ahead and going to. So um, <clears throat> we're using going to plus the base verb. Okay, and so there you go. Why isn't Charlie going to, and then base verb, go bowling tonight? Why isn't Charlie going to go bowling tonight? And then B, he's already gone bowling this week. So he's, right? So he has, he's, he's already gone bowling this week. So because we're using the, 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 uh, the, the, the present perfect, he has, then we need to use the participle. Okay, we have to use the past participle because we used has, okay? So he has already gone bowling this week, all right? And so now we're using the, the past participle because we used has, all right? We use the present perfect, he has. And so if you use have or has in your sentence, then you need to use the past participle. He has already gone bowling. Then <clears throat> A says, really when? So that's just a simple question, right? It's a simple question, when? When? That's a simple question. And so we use just the past tense, okay? Really when? He went bowling yesterday. So this, the question, so remember like the questions reflect, the, the answer reflects the question. The answer reflects the question. So if I say, um, do you like chocolate? Yes, I do. Okay, do you like? That's the question. And the answer, yes, I do, or no, I don't. So the answer is reflecting the question. So if someone asks you, do you like chocolate? Then you say, oh, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Um, or if someone asks you, um, okay, have you, okay, if we use the, the, uh, the present perfect, right? The have, have you, have you been to New York? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay? But here, it's just when. It's just a simple question. So we use simple answer. And so we use the, the past tense. We don't use the past participle. We just say, he went bowling yesterday. He went bowling yesterday. So one more time. Why isn't Charlie going to? Future going to. Go bowling tonight. Why isn't Charlie going to go bowling tonight? Right? And then um, because, so, so the, we're using the past participle because it's going to reflect the, the, the question. Okay? And so um, now um, the past participle, it's it's a, a it's a completed action that relates to the topic okay so it's so it's it's not really finished okay and so um he's already got so why isn't charlie going to go bowling tonight so the topic is they're talking about bowling and charlie always goes bowling let's say you know he always goes bowling tonight right all, every week, Charlie goes bowling tonight. But tonight, he's not. So why? So it's unusual. And, and, and so, um, and, and so we're, the topic is, why isn't he going bowling tonight? We're talking about that. And then the answer, um, he has already gone bowling this week. And, and so it's, it's completed, right? He has already, he did it, right? It's already, it's done. 
but it is relating to the question, right? So the person is is surprised, right? Wow, he always goes bowling on Tuesdays, right? So for example, um, I'm always here on Tuesday, right? So I always do our live stream on Tuesdays. And then um, for some reason, Mark is not here. I'm not here. So why isn't Mark um, doing a live stream? Why isn't Mark doing a live stream? Oh, he has already done a live stream this week, for example. So, so um, it's completed, but it relates to the topic, okay? So it relates to the topic, and so we use the past, or we use the, the present perfect, okay? So it's completed, but it, it, we're talking about it now. So it's a completed action, but we are talking about it now. So it's, it's, it's a little tricky, it's a little difficult, okay? So anyways, um, sorry about that. I wish it could be simple and, and um, obvious, but it's not obvious, it's not simple. So it's completed, but we're talking about it now. It's completed, but we are talking about it now. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice, shall we? Let's go and practice. And um, I have to make it a little smaller so we, we can see. Okay. Let's make it a little smaller. Okay, okay. There we go. So here you can see one, two, three, and then so we have one, two, three, <laughs> one, two, three, and then you have the examples A, B, A, B. So in the chat, I want you to do A, B, A, B. Okay, and the and the the hint. Let me get my head out. <laughs> Don't want to look at my head. Okay. Um, why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening. Why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? And so that's A, right? Why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? That is A. Like for example, in the, in the example, why isn't Charlie going to go bowling tonight? Here we have C, right? Why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening. B, please write B in the chat. So maybe we go step by step. So maybe we should just do A, B for right now. So what, what is the, the, the answer? Why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? Oh, okay. And, um, okay, one more thing I forgot. So, the, the, the time phrase, you could use any time phrase, but it's in the past, right? So, um, so the time phrase here we have is this evening, right? So this evening. So the, the time phrase is present, right? So we're talking about it now. So the, the time phrase is now. Okay, so we're having so we're having a conversation, and it says, "Why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening?" So we're talking now, and so we're using okay this evening. So actually, it's future. Yeah, so going to so it's the it's the future. Going to. So, okay, here, here we go. Um, going to, okay, that's future. Going to see, yeah, a movie this evening. Okay, so maybe right now we're talking and let's say it's, it is, let's say, 4 p.m. Okay, right now we're talking, it is 4 p.m. This evening is later, okay? It's in the future. Maybe it's 5 o'clock, 
maybe it's six o'clock, it could be seven o'clock. Okay, so why isn't <clears throat> Vicky going to see a movie this evening? Okay, and so we're talking future because going to. So then um, we're going to answer, uh, she's already. Okay, she has, so we're going to conjugate it. She's, okay, she's, she has, she's already. So it's completed. She's already, and we have to use the, we have to use the past participle, so that's seen. She's already seen. <coughs> she's already seen a movie. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, you can't see the, the whiteboard. Okay, so um, she's already seen a movie. Now, we could use any past tense time phrase, okay? So here we're talking about the future. Why, why, um, so why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? It's 4 p.m. This evening, that's the future. And then we can say, now we have to use a time phrase in the past. She's already seen a movie this week, for example, this week. Okay, and, and so it's in the past. So maybe, you know, it, it's Friday. Let's say it's Friday. Vicky always goes to movies on Fridays. So why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? Oh, she's already seen a movie this week. So maybe she saw a movie on Monday. Maybe she saw a movie on Tuesday. Maybe she saw a movie on Wednesday. Okay, so that's all past. Okay, so this evening, future, because it's 4 p.m., we're talking at 4 p.m., and this evening is in the future. But our answer, it's completed. She has already seen a movie this week, right? Or she has already seen a movie this morning. Let's say she went to the morning movie, okay? So you could say this morning. Okay, that's past tense. She's already seen a movie this morning. She's already seen a movie uh, yesterday, past tense. Okay, she's already seen a movie um, two days ago. Okay, past tense. So here, the time phrase is the future. Okay, that's a future time phrase. And this is a past time phrase, past tense, past. It's already happened. It happened this week. It's over. She did it. She saw a movie. It's over. <laughs> okay, so that's what it, there's, there's like little, little twists, right? There's lots of little tricky things in there. So that's, it makes it difficult. Okay, so let's. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm going to bring up the worksheet so you can do it now. Okay, so you can use any time phrase. Okay, right? You have to, so the future time phrase is already there. But you can use any past tense time phrase. Any, it's happened already. Okay, it's already happened. Okay, there we go. Okay, Mary. Okay, sorry. So I, I have, I have not been looking. I have not been looking at the chat. I'm sorry. I've been looking at the board and the camera. So I have not seen the chat. So I'm very sorry. So I see Mary right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and read Mary's. Um, why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? She's already seen a movie this week. Yes. Good. Good. <clears throat> really? When? Okay. Um, let's see. Really? When? 
Uh, she saw a movie two days ago. Good, Mary. Alice says, why isn't Vicky going to see a movie? She has already seen a movie this weekend. Really, when? She went to see a movie yesterday. Good, good, Alice. Wildlife, she watched it yesterday. That's why she's not going to see it this morning. Okay, wildlife. Yeah, Tomas, she saw it. She has already seen it. Yeah, same. Samuel, she has already seen a movie one hour ago. Okay. Barhar, why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? She has already seen a movie this week. Really, when? She saw a movie two days ago. Yes, Barhar. Fabricio. Did I say hello, Fabricio? Did I say hello? I think I did. Why isn't Vicky? <coughs> why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? She's already seen a movie recently. Okay, really? When she saw a movie last weekend, we went to the cinema together. Good, good, Fabricio. Very good, Lolly. Why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? She's already seen a movie. Or she's already seen this movie. Really, when? She saw it a long time ago. Yeah, good, Lolly. I like it. Yeah, Lolly, that's, that's a nice sentence there. Nice conversation. Okay, Tetsuro. <clears throat> Why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? They've already eaten at a restaurant this week. Really, when? They ate at a restaurant three days ago. Yes, that's right. Sonia, why isn't Charlie going to go bowling tonight? He has already gone bowling this week. Wildlife, she has done. She has done watching it this morning. Okay, no, you can't do that. Um, she, we, she has already. So you can't do done watching. Um. So, so she has already watched it this morning. Okay, wildlife. She has already watched it this morning. Okay, Bella. Hello, Bella. Why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? She's already, she has already seen. Okay, so she has, so we need to use the um, past part of, Past participle scene. Alice, why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? They have already eaten at a restaurant this week. Really, when? They, they ate at a restaurant two days ago. They ate. So we're practicing the, the three. Um, so our verbs, everyone, don't forget, we're, we're practicing the three right here. The base, past participle past tense okay so let's let's stay with this pattern okay so you should be so you know um, eat eaten ate right <clears throat> okay Miley hello oh, okay oh I see sleep Parker. sorry why? Oh, I just missed it. Miley says, why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? They've already eaten at a restaurant this month. Really, when? They ate at a restaurant the day before yesterday. Why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? She has already seen a movie the day before yesterday. Okay, Saima, the day before yesterday. You need the T-H-E, the. Tetsuro, why isn't Roy going to get a haircut today? He's already gotten a haircut this month. Really, when? He got a haircut last week. Yes, Tetsuro. Fabricio, why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? They have eaten. Huh? They have, they have already. Okay, come on, Tets or, uh, Fabricio, please look at the sample AB there. 
Okay, Sleepwalker. Why isn't Roy going to get a haircut? To oh, boy. Okay. Okay, Sleepwalker. Why isn't Roy going to get a haircut today? He has already gotten a haircut this month. Really? When? He went to a barber shop two weeks ago. Yes. You're welcome, my life. No problem. Dang. Why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? They have already eaten at a restaurant this week. Really? When? They ate at a restaurant last night. Good, good. Sonia, why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? She. Okay, Sonia, Vicky is a woman. She has already seen a movie this evening. Really, when? She saw a movie. Okay, past tense, last night. Okay, Sonia, we need um, saw. And so the time phrase needs to be in the past right because the verb is in the past so the time needs to be in the past sleepwalker why aren't you going to give blood today i have already given blood this week really when i went to the okay i gave blood yesterday okay we want to use the verb tense of sleepwalker be careful lolly why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? They have already eaten at a restaurant this week. Really, when? They ate at a restaurant two days ago. Okay, Fabricio Fix. Good. Why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? They have already eaten at. Okay, I think that's a little typo only. They have already eaten at a restaurant a few days ago. Really, when? They ate at Alexander's Steakhouse yesterday. <laughs> okay. Miley, why isn't Roy going to get a haircut today? He's already gotten a haircut this week. Really, when? He got a haircut yesterday. Sonia, why isn't Roy, why isn't Roy going to get a haircut today? He has already gotten a haircut. He has already gotten his hair cut. Really? When? He got a haircut last week. Good, Sonia. Tetsuro, why isn't Shirley going to... Okay. Oh, okay. There it is. Zoo. Okay. Tetsuro, why isn't Shirley going to take her children to the zoo this afternoon? She's already... Already. We need already. She's already taken her children to the zoo last week. Really? When? She took them... She took her children to the zoo last Friday. How about that? Last Friday. Umesh, why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant this afternoon? They have already eaten at a restaurant this month. Really? When? They ate at a restaurant two days ago. Okay, let's um, pull it up here. Let's. There's the rest. There we go. The rest of the conversations. Number nine is your own original. Number nine is your own original conversation. Bahar, why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? They've already eaten at a restaurant this week. Really, when? They ate at a restaurant yesterday. So we don't need on yesterday, just yesterday. Okay, Bahar, they ate at a restaurant yesterday. Tetsuro, why isn't Fred going to wear his purple tie today? He's already worn his, his purple tie last week. <coughs> really when? He wore his purple tie Saturday. Miley, why aren't you going to give blood today? I've already given blood this month. Really when? I gave blood yesterday. Sleepwalker, why isn't Shirley going to take her children to the zoo this afternoon. She has already taken her children today. Really? When? She took them one hour ago. Good sleepwalker. Alice, why aren't you going to give blood today? I have already given blood this morning. Really? When? I gave blood. Yes. Okay, now, Alice, you said this morning. Right? So, this morning. So, you can't say yesterday. So you have to say, when? Oh, I gave blood at 
8 a.m., for example. Okay, so you said this morning, already gave blood this morning. When? Oh, at 8 a.m. Okay, so you have to choose the, the time in the morning because you said this morning. Lolly, why isn't Roy going to get a haircut today? He's already gotten a haircut. Really, when? He got a haircut last Thursday. Yes. Tetsuro, number seven. Why aren't you and your family going to drive to the lake today? We've already driven to the lake last week. Really? When? We drove to the lake last Sunday. Okay. Sonia, why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? They have already eaten at a restaurant this month. Okay, so, so Sonia, you, you have to keep the, the time expressions um, equal. Okay, so, um, yeah, again, this is... Uh, so Sonia, let me let me help you here for a minute. Okay, so Sonia, why aren't Mr. and Mr. S why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? Okay, so that's the question. Going to, that's the future, right? So tonight, that's in the future. And so um, now you say the they have already eaten at a restaurant. Now, like this month, so now the, 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 the time has to be uh, present, okay? So now the time is present. They have already eaten at a restaurant this month, for example, okay? And then um, the question really when? Okay, so now it's past. So they ate at a restaurant um, Two days ago, they ate, at, they ate at a restaurant last week. So it is difficult. So we have future time phrase, right? Going to eat tonight. Why aren't they going to eat tonight? Why aren't they going to go tomorrow? Why aren't they going to go, um, let's say, next week? Okay, future. And then now we use the present. Oh, they've already... Um, gone this month. They've already gone this year. So we're talking present now. And then the question, when? And then you say, oh, now it's the past tense time. So it's very difficult. Oh, they, they went to the zoo uh, two weeks ago. Okay, so, so yeah, so it, it so we want to use going to, that's the future, okay? So why isn't she going, let's say, okay, why aren't they going to see a movie tonight, okay? Future. Why aren't they going to see a movie tomorrow, future? And now we're using the, 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 the present perfect. Oh, they have already seen a movie this month, okay? So, so here we have, let me get a calendar. Hold on a second. So maybe the calendar is going to, like, that can help you. Okay, so here's a calendar. I'm, this is October. <laughs> I'm, I'm planning ahead. These are my videos next month. Okay, so, okay, let's, we want September. Okay, so let's use September. This is September's calendar. Okay, here's September. So this is this month, right? Here's, here's our calendar this month. Yeah, and so here, okay, these are all the videos I've uploaded. Okay, so September, this is this month, yeah? And so today is Tuesday, September 20th right here. This is September 20th today. So we're talking, and um, for example, let, let's say you always on Tuesday, on Tuesdays, every Tuesday, 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 you always um, go bowling, okay? So you always go bowling on Tuesdays. So I ask you, but you're not going tonight. You're not going tonight. And so I ask you, why aren't you going to go bowling 
um, tonight. Why? So today we're talking now, and now the future, going to future. Why aren't you going to go bowling tonight, right? And then you say, oh, um, I've already, okay, you've completed, right? I've already gone bowling, um, let's say, this week, okay? So we're in the... We're talking now in the few, in the present. Oh, I have already gone bowling this week. Okay, the 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 present perfect present. Okay, we're talking present. I have already gone bowling this week. It's like oh, this week. Re I go, really when? And then now we have to have past. Okay, because it's Tuesday, so now it has to be before Tuesday. Okay, it has to be in the past. Oh. I went bowling on Sunday, okay? So today's Tuesday, so that's the past, okay? And so the question, okay, we're using going to, so future. Why aren't you going camping um, next week? Okay, why aren't you, so here's, it's Tuesday, the 20th, and so we're, okay, let's do next week, 25th, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Next week. Why aren't you going camping? Why aren't you going? Why aren't you going um, to go camp? Why aren't you going camping next week? Okay, next week. And then, oh, I have already gone camping this month. Okay, we're using the, the um, present, perfect. Um, time phrase is present. I've already gone camping this month. This month? Oh, really? When did you go? When? Oh, I went, I went on, I went camping on Saturday the 3rd. Okay, I went camping on Saturday the 3rd and 4th. I went camping for two days. I went camping on Saturday and Sunday the 3rd and 4th. Okay, so I'm asking you, why aren't you going to do something? Okay, that's future time phrase. And then we're using the present perfect. We're using the, the present. And then, the, and then we're using the past because I ask you when. Because you said, I have already done it. It is completed, right? I have already done it. And so when? So it has to be the past tense. Okay, so... <laughs> so we want to use we want to use the future time phrase we want to use the present time phrase and we want to use the past time phrase okay so future time phrase future time phrase Uh, the, the present time phrase and the past time phrase. Okay. Okay, so future time phrase. Why aren't you going camping tomorrow? Why aren't you going camping tomorrow? Why aren't you going camping tomorrow? I have already gone camping this month. I have already gone camping this month. Why aren't you going camping tomorrow? Oh, I've already gone camping this month. Really? When? I went camping two days ago. I went camping two, or I went camping last week. Let's, <clears throat> let's make it simple. Okay, here we go. This is going to be simple. Why aren't you going camping next week? Why aren't you going camping next week? Next week. Future. Okay, so it is now, it is the 20th. So why aren't you going camping next week? Why aren't you going going to go camping next week. Why aren't you going to go camping next week, future? Because I have already gone camping this month, present. 
I have already gone camping this month. Present. When? Past. I went camping last week. I went camping last week. Okay? Why aren't you going to go camping next week? I have already gone camping this month. When? I went camping last week. Okay? Okay. Now, because of time, I'm looking at the, at the clock. So let's go to nine, okay? So everyone do your own original um, conversation, okay? So everyone go to number nine. Do, do an original conversation. Do an original conversation. Okay, Sleepwalker, <laughs> number nine. Why aren't you learning, learning the present perfect tense today? Why aren't you learning the present perfect tense today? I have already learned the present perfect tense this month. Really? When? I learned it two hours ago on Mark's lesson. <laughs> okay, good. So you have to say the, okay, Sleepwalker, the present perfect tense. Okay, Miley, Miley, why isn't Julie going to write to her best friend today? She has already written to her best friend today. Really, when? She wrote to her best friend earlier this morning. Good. Miley, that's good. Bahar, why isn't Julie going to write to her best friend today? She's already written to her best friend this week. Really, when? She wrote to her best friend yesterday. Good, Bahar. Yes. Yes. Yes, Sleepwalker. The present perfect. <laughs> I don't, I, I, sometimes that I wish I could do better explaining it better to you. I'm sorry. I, I still, I, I don't have confidence that I'm, I'm expressing it clearly. I'm telling, I'm, helping you clearly that's my that's my fear or that's my um my self doubt lack of confidence okay miley number nine miley's original conversation number nine why haven't you already gotten out of bed today i already got up today really when I got up earlier in the morning. I saw it was raining and went back to bed. Miley, nice, 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 Miley. I like it, I like it. Very good. Kisses, kisses, mwah, mwah. Okay, while live, because I have already learned the present, per present perfect tense this year, that's why I'm not going to learn it this morning. Oh, okay, Sleepwalker, why aren't you going to cook today? I have already cooked this morning. Really, when? I cooked one hour ago. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm happy you guys understood. Okay, I have more confidence now. I, you have given me confidence. Thank you, everyone. Why isn't Mark wearing a blue shirt? Or why isn't, okay, Henna, going to. Future, future, going to. Henna, Henna, why isn't Mark going to wear his blue shirt tomorrow? Why isn't Mark going to wear his blue shirt tomorrow? He has already worn his blue shirt this week. Really? When? He wore his blue shirt on Sunday. Okay, good. Just, um, Henna, you need to just be careful with the... With the pattern there, you can see why is it going to, okay? So be careful, Hannah. Okay, Tetsuro, number nine, Tetsuro. Why isn't Joe going to take a shower today? He's already taken a shower last year, really, when? He took a shower three months ago. 
Or actually, here, okay, now you have to use, um, he's already taken a shower this year, okay? So remember, Tetsuro, it has to be the, the present time, okay, Tetsuro? So why isn't Joe going to take a shower today? Okay, that's good. Future, going to, today, that's good. And then he, you're next, he's already taken a shower now, you, have, you can't say last year. You have to use the present, this year, okay? So, Tetsuro, why isn't Joe going to take a shower today? Going to, future. He's already taken a shower this year. So, you need the present tense, okay? He's already taken a shower this year. Really, when? Okay, now past. He took a shower three months ago, okay? So, you just need to fix... The middle needs to be the, the present, okay? So we're using the present perfect tense. So I'm, actually, I'm just going to do this present perfect. This, I, this is going to help you, yeah? Present perfect, okay? So here we're using the future, going to. We're using the present perfect. This year, this month, this week, um, okay? So, this week, this month, um, this year, okay? We're using the, the present perfect, present time phrase, and then when, and then we're going to use the past. Oh, yesterday, two days ago, last week, last month, okay? Okay, so Tetsuro, one more time. Okay. Okay, so I'm missing a lot of your sentences. I'm sorry. Okay, Fabricio. Why isn't Fabricio going to understand the grammar today? He's already understood it recently. Really? When? I think he understood it last night in his dream. Hey, that's a good sent that's a good conversation, Fabricio. I think you understand it. Alice, why aren't you going to travel today? I have already gone traveling this week. Really, when? I went traveling two weeks ago. Yes. Cecilia, why isn't Julie going to write to her best friend today? She's already written to her best friend today. Really, when? She wrote to her, her best friend yesterday. Umesh, why isn't Bob going to take, okay, number nine, Umesh, why isn't Bob taking, okay, we want to use going to take, okay, so everyone, come on, come on, come on, going to, right there, we can see it, why isn't Charlie going to go, going to take, going to, okay, and then we want going to plus the base, Going to plus base. Going to base. So going to see, going to eat, going to drink, going to visit, going to study, going to speak, going to go. Okay. Let's get back on the... The chat here. Cecilia. Oh, okay. Why isn't Alice taking her? Okay, we need going to, yeah. Okay, you got it. Good, Tetsuro. Uh, Maitra, why isn't Mark going to teach English this evening? He has already, okay, taught class today. Okay, why isn't, okay, here we go, Maitra. Why isn't Mark going to teach English this evening? He has already taught. Okay, teach, taught. He has already taught class today. Really? When? He, he taught class this morning. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so my, um, why isn't Mark going to teach English this morning? He has already taught class this week, really when he taught class yesterday. 
Okay, Sonia. Okay, why aren't you going to attend Mark's class today? I have already attended his class. Really, when? I attended his class on Tuesday. Yeah, okay, Sonia, good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Mark, he's already taken a shower this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I take a shower every day, that's it all. <laughs> Mary, good, thank you. Man. Bella, why aren't you and your friends, or no, family, sorry. Why aren't you and your family going to drive to the lake today? We've already, we, we've already driven, okay? You need the, the past participle, driven to the lake this week, really when? We, we drove to the lake on Friday. Okay, Bella, be careful. Use the past participle and the past. Lolly, number nine, original conversation. Why aren't you going to Mark's live lesson today? I have already learned or learned, okay? The, the English tenses, really when? I learned English tenses a month ago. Good, good, good. Alice, why aren't you going to church today? I have already gone to church this weekend. Really when? I went to church yesterday. Yes, Alice. Yes, Alice, good. Henna, here we go. Why aren't you going to take their dog to the park this evening? Um, they've already taken their dog to the park this week. Really, when? Uh, they took their dog to the park yesterday. Yeah, okay, Hannah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, Bahar, okay, this is the last one, and we're gonna switch activities, okay? So, I'm gonna read Bahar, and that's the last one, and then we're gonna switch. Okay, Bahar, why aren't you going to drink the coffee this morning. We've already uh, drunk the coffee earlier this morning. Really? Okay, when? 6 a.m. Okay, so Bahar, if you say this morning, you need like a time, right? Why haven't you drunk the coffee? Oh, and then, oh, I've already drunk coffee this morning. Really? When? I drank coffee at 6 a.m. Okay, so the, the thing to remember, the, the, the thing to remember, let me make it smaller here. The thing to remember, I'm gonna actually um, take it off. Okay, so the, the tricky part, right? So going to, that's the verb, or that's, that's the future. And so um, the time phrase is future. Um, why aren't you going to go camping tomorrow? And then we're using the present perfect, so we want to use a present time. So we have already um, gone camping this week, okay? Present, this week. And then... Really, when? So I asked you, when did you go camping? When did you camp go camping? Right? And so you completed it, it's done. So you have to use the past tense, you have to use a past tense time phrase. Uh, we went camping two days ago. We went camping two days ago. Why aren't you why um, aren't you going going to go camping next week? Future. Present perfect. We have already gone camping this week? Really, when? We went camping two days ago. Future, present, past. Future, present, past. Future, present, past. Woo, I know it's hard, it's difficult, it's difficult. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wish it was simpler. I do, I do, I do. Okay, I'm sorry. We got, I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activities, okay? 
Our next activity is dictation cards. Dictation cards. And we will we'll do more of these kind of activities, okay? So don't worry, we'll have more practice, okay? And um, of course, you could you could watch my video again and you can you can get these worksheets on my Patreon page. Okay, all all our, all these worksheets that we do for the live stream class is on my Patreon page. So support me on Patreon and you get the worksheets in PDF file. Okay, so you can you can get all the PDF files of these worksheets that we do in live stream so you can practice at home and um, in our live stream, if you have questions, you could ask me, right? And um, and there's videos, right, that go with it. Video that goes together. And actually, let actually let's watch a little bit of the video, okay? So actually, that might be good. Let's let's watch a little bit of the video, and then we'll do dictation cards, okay? I was going to skip the video, but let's let's watch a little bit, okay? We just just a little bit. We won't spend much time. So, because here we go. Let, let's practice a little bit with the video. Okay, so I have already done it. I did it last week. Okay, so it's, it's done. Okay, why isn't Kim going to go bowling tonight? So, so let's practice saying the sentences, okay? And this, this is going to help you um, uh, remember. It, 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 it might make the sentences sound more natural to you, right? So it's one thing you know, doing the worksheet, right? Right, you know, writing the sentences. It's another thing, speaking, right? So there's two things, right? Here's writing. So the worksheet, you're writing. So you're not speaking, you're just thinking and writing. You're thinking and writing. However, when, when you're speaking, then you, you get the grammar together. So like in, in the videos, Everything's together, right? The, the pattern, the grammar, everything's together, and you're speaking and you're listening, right? You're speaking and listening. And so the, the, the pattern and the grammar comes together and it sounds natural for you, right? As you're speaking and listening, it sounds natural for you. And so then it might be easier for you to write, okay? So let's... Say the sentences together. Let's say them together, and it you will see how this the sound and the the pattern, how it sounds and how it is naturally spoken. Okay? So let's do that. Why isn't Kim going to go bowling tonight? Why isn't Kim going to go bowling tonight? Okay, she has already gone bowling this week. Okay, there we got present tense, yeah? So, and we had the future, right? Going to, okay, future. And now, present, she has already gone bowling this week. Okay, this week, that's present um, time phrase, this week. She has already gone bowling this week. She has already gone bowling this week. She has already gone bowling this week. Really? When? Really? When? Really? When? She went bowling yesterday. She went bowling yesterday. So now we have the time phrase is past, right? The question, right? The, the question was simple, when, right? That's a simple question, really when, really when. So when, that is a simple question. And so the answer needs to be simple. And so the answer is simple. She went bowling yesterday. So the time phrase is yesterday, past tense, and the verb is past tense. Okay, our next one, question. Why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? Why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? 
<clears throat> why isn't Vicky going to see a movie this evening? Future, going to. This evening, future. So the verb, going to, okay, that's the, 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 the future tense, going to. See, why isn't she going to see, going to see, future tense. And um, time phrase, future time phrase, this evening. So those are matching. They match the, the, the verb and the time frame, or the time phrase matches. She has already seen a movie this week. She has already seen a movie this week. She has already seen a movie this week. So we have the, the present perfect, and the time phrase is present. Present perfect verb, present, per, er, and present time phrase. Present time phrase. This week. Really when? Okay, simple question. When? Simple question. When? Okay, she saw a movie two days ago. Okay, she saw a movie two days ago. So the verb is past tense and the time phrase is past tense. Two days ago, she saw a video, or I'm uh, sorry, she saw a movie two days ago. So the verb is past tense and the time phrase is past tense. Why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? Okay, future going to eat, going to eat, future. Why aren't Mr. and Mrs. Smith going to eat at a restaurant tonight? Tonight, future time phrase and the verb going to eat, future time, or future, future verb. Future verb, going to eat, and the time phrase is future, tonight. All right. They have already eaten at a restaurant this month. They have already eaten at a restaurant this month. They have already eaten at a restaurant this month. Okay, so um, present perfect, eaten, already eaten. They have eaten, they have eaten. And then the, the time phrase is, is um, present this month. This month, present tense. And then we have the present perfect, they have already eaten. Really, when? Okay, so then we have our simple question, when? They ate at our restaurant last week. So we have past tense verb and then past Time phrase. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to say it. We're just going to read it now. I'm sorry. So let's just read it. Why isn't Roy going to get a haircut today? Why isn't Roy going to get a haircut today? He has already gotten a haircut this week. He has already gotten a haircut this week. <clears throat> really when? He got a haircut on Wednesday. He got a haircut on Wednesday. Why aren't you going to give blood today? Why aren't you going to give blood today? I have already given blood this week. I have already given blood this week. Really? When? Really, when? I gave blood three days ago. I gave blood three days ago. Why isn't Shirley going to take her children to the zoo this afternoon?
She has already taken her children to the zoo this year. Really? When? She took them in May. She took them in May. Okay, hold on, sleepwalker. Why isn't Fred going to wear his red tie today? He has already worn his red tie this week. Really? When? He wore it on Monday. Why isn't Jim going to write to his best friend today? He has already written to his best friend this week. Really? When? He wrote to him last Sunday. Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. That, that's fine. Next is just a quiz, so that's okay. All right. So, um, the video is on YouTube, right? So, you can... You know, on my YouTube channel, you can see this video. You could watch it again and again, and um, and get the natural how the the sentence sounds, how the conversation how the conversation sounds naturally. So you can do that anytime. You could download the the worksheets. You could watch the video, do the worksheets. Yeah, do your own. So in the worksheets, there's place for you to write your own sentences there. Okay, good. Um, Sleepwalker has a question. Um, okay, so those two adverbs, they mean different things. Okay, so sleepwalker already means it's done. And then recently means um, these days. So if, if, if it's already done, it can't be recently. Or you could say, okay, it's recent. I, 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 I have recently done it, but you, you can't say already, or I, I, recently, I, I, yeah, it doesn't match because already means it's, it's finished and recently is, these, it, yeah, it doesn't work. Um, I have already recently gone there. Um, Yeah, you would have to, I have already gone there, it's, I've done it, you could, recently I have gone there, I guess you could do, recently I have gone there, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, recently I already, yeah, no, you can't, it, it, <laughs> it, it doesn't work, sleepwalker, sorry, um, okay, sleepwalker, but are these, are there situations where you can use two adverbs together naturally? Maybe. I mean, I don't think there's a rule. It's just if they, if they, if they match the meaning, right? So they, the, the meaning has to match the situation. So I just need, I, I can't right now think of it. There might be um, sleepwalker. We just, the thing is, it just, the, the the meaning and the situation they have to match right and that's what's like here that's just like kind of the challenge right so we have going to future and so the time phrase needs to match the future right so um, I'm going to go camping uh, next week right and so the 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 Future tense, going to go camping, going to go, right? That's future. And so the time phrase needs to match. So I'm going to go camping 
next week, okay? And then if we're gonna use the, the present perfect, and so the time frame, the time phrase needs to be in the present tense. So um, I have already gone camping this week. This week, present, yeah? Present perfect, time phrase is in the present. And then, question, when? Okay, and so when, and so now, because you've already done it, right? I've already, I've already been camping. I've already been camping, and so it's completed. And so now the, the time phrase and the verb need to be, needs to be in the past. So um, I went camping last week. And so, so the, the, the meaning, right, last week, or um, went, okay, I went, and then the time frame, time phrase needs to be in the past. I went two days ago, I went last week, I went last month, I went last year, okay, so, so the, the meaning, the verb has to match like the, the, the adverbs and the time phrases, okay? Okay, let's, I know it's a long, we could, oh, like, like we can just keep going on and on, right? It's, it's, it's non-stop. And so we have to stop. <laughs> and we have to do, we got to, okay, Sleepwalker, we got to do dictation cards now, okay? We got to do dictation cards. Oh, look at the time. Look at the time. Okay. We are now doing dictation cards. Yay. <laughs> We need a pencil and paper, pencil and paper, because you're going to listen and write what I say word for word. <clears throat> I need some space here. I need some space for our next activity. I think this is like important right here. This is the important thing right there, yeah. Okay. Dictation cards. Two. Dictation. All right. So the topic, topic, or actually there's, it's, topic is time phrase, okay? Time phrase. <laughs> we're, we're practicing more time phrases. Time phrases. Okay, time phrases, and the time phrases are in, later, Within, okay, here we go, in, later, within, in, later, within. In means a definite period of time, a definite period of time. So for example, in 10 minutes, okay, definite time, I will be there in I will be there in 10 minutes. I will be there in 20 minutes, okay? <clears throat> I will be there in one hour, okay? For sure. Definite time. Okay, and then um, later is, it could be future or past. Okay, it could be future or past. So, for example, um, future. Let's do future. Um, I will... I, I got there 10, I got there, I got there three hours later. Okay, future, I got there three hours later. I got there three hours later. Okay, past. No, 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 I will get there. I will get there three hours later. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm all confused. Um, I will get there three hours. I will, I will get there. I will get there three hours later. Future, I will get there three hours later. Future, I will get there three hours later. Past, I got there. I got there three 
hours later. Okay, I got there three hours later. Um, how can I say? Okay, I got there three hours later um, before I left. Or I got there three hours later um, after you got there. <laughs> after you arrived. Okay, I got there three hours later after you arrived. Okay, past tense, yeah, past, past. I got there three hours later after you arrived. I got there three hours later after you arrived. Past tense, got, arrived, past tense, later. So later can be future, later can be past. And then within, within, not sure exactly when, not sure exactly when. Not sure exactly when. Not sure exactly when. So, for example, um, I will be there within one hour. I will be there within one hour. Okay, so I don't know exactly, but like, okay, I will be there within one hour. I don't know exactly. Here, in, in 10 minutes, I know exactly. In 10 minutes, I know. Okay, I will be there in 10 minutes. Okay, exactly. Um, later, future, I will be there. I will see you later <laughs> in the future. I will see you. Okay, I will, future, right? We have two, two ways to use future, going to and will. In this situation, we use will because I'm talking now. I'm making a decision now. I will see you later. Okay, I'm making a decision now. I'm talking to you now. I will see you later. Um, okay, past tense. Uh, I saw him later um, before the game started. I saw him um, later after the game started. Okay, so you can use later in the past tense. Yeah, so in the past, the verbs need to be in the past tense. And then within, you're not, you don't know the exact time. You don't know the exact time. I will be there within one hour. Okay, I will be there. I don't, I'm not sure, but I will be there um, within one hour. I'm not sure exactly, but I will be there within one hour. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so that is, we're going to practice in, later, within, and we are going to do four steps. Four steps. Oops, let me do it again. Okay, four steps. Step one, dictation. We'll go fast and slow. Step two, shadow. That is speaking practice. Then, take turns. I will say the card, you will say the card. We will take turns. And then you will have a quiz. Quiz, okay? Dictation, we'll go fast and slow. Shadowing is speaking practice and meaning. We'll talk about the meaning. We'll take turns and have a quiz. Okay, four steps. I will go fast the first time. I will say each card three times fast. If it's too fast for you, don't worry because I will say each card three, or each card three times slowly, okay? So the first time, fast, 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 fast. But don't worry, because after that, I'll go slow, slow, slow. So the first time's a challenge, okay? And write what you can. If you can't get the whole sentence, that's okay, because the second time, I will go slowly. And then 
you can get all the all the all the words and then we will shadow and then you will see the sentence okay then I will show you the sentence so but the but at the beginning I'm not going to show you the card you're not going to see the sentence you're not going to see the picture so you're going to purely just listen for the dictation and then for the speaking you're just going to listen and speak okay so it's going to be a challenge but it's good it's good okay here we go dictation time pencil and paper okay here we go oh the poll we'll do that okay oh, the poll the poll the poll we're not okay i'm gonna write the 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 the, the i'm gonna make a note here poll so i don't forget okay but we're not we don't have time for the poll right now we're gonna do it after the dictation cards after the dictation cards pull okay dictation cards and then pull okay here we go countdown five four three two one card number one fast i'll be back later i'll be back later i'll be back later that was number one write the sentence It's the same, yes, yes, same custom manga. Custom manga. Same. It depends on the situation though. The, the, it's the same, but it's a little different. It's the same, but it's a little different. Okay, here we go. Number two, card number two. I am going to Italy in two weeks. I am going to Italy in two weeks. I am going to Italy in two weeks. Card number three. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. I left home at six and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. I left home at six and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. I left home at six and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Oh, okay. wait, wait. Tomas has a question. Yeah, same, Tomas. I ate dinner. I already ate dinner. Same. Card number four, card number four, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Number five, don't worry, we're gonna go slow, okay? So if it's too fast, don't worry, we will go slowly. <laughs> there you go, Tomas. Okay, um, here we go, number five, don't worry, because we will go slowly. So don't worry if it's too fast. Here we go, card number five. Five, four, three, two, one. 
I'll call you after the meeting. I'll call you after the meeting. I'll call you after the meeting. Oh, after and later means the same. I forgot. After. Okay. After or later. Same. Okay. Number six. Number six. Card number six. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. We will contact you within two weeks. We will contact you within two weeks. We'll contact you within two weeks. Okay, here we go. Number seven. Card number seven. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. The train will The train will arrive within the hour. The train will arrive within the hour. The train will arrive within the hour. Card number eight, here we go, last card, and then we'll go slow. So don't worry if it's too fast. This is the last card, fast, then we, we will go slow after this. <clears throat> here we go, countdown, five, four, three, two, one. I'll see you after work. I'll see you after work. I'll see you after work. Okay, that was fast. Now we will go slowly. So if, if, if it was too fast for you, if you didn't get all the words, don't worry. Now I will say each card slowly, okay? So here we go. One more time, three times, slowly, each sentence slowly. Count down, here we go. Card number one, five, four, three, two, one. I'll be back later. I'll be back later. I'll be back later. Card number two. <clears throat> I am going to Italy in two weeks. I am going to Italy in two weeks. I am going to Italy in two weeks. Okay, card number three. <clears throat> I left home at six and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. I left home at six and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. I left home at six and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Kalechi, okay, that's a long that's a long sentence. So go ahead and write the sentence. I'll give you a little bit of time. That was long. Okay, here we go. Number four, card number four. <clears throat> I'll be back in 10 minutes. I'll be back in 
10 minutes. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, card number five. I'll call you after the meeting. I'll call you after the meeting. I'll call you after the meeting. Number six. Number six. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Countdown. We will contact you within two weeks. We will contact you within two weeks. We will contact you within two weeks. Okay, number seven, number seven. The train will arrive within the hour. The train will arrive within the hour. The train will arrive within the hour. Okay, here we go. Last card, last card. Hello, stumble. Okay, here we go. Last card, number eight, slowly. Five, four, three, two, one. I'll see you after work. I'll see you after work. I'll see you after work. Okay. That was dictation. You wrote what I said. Yeah, you listened and you wrote. And we went fast and we went slow. So good job. Let's check it off. You did it. Now it's time to shadow. It's speaking practice. And you still haven't seen the card. You still haven't, I haven't shown you the card yet. So we're gonna, we're going to say the sentence each time, we're gonna say each sentence three times, then I will show you the card, you will see the picture, you will see the sentence, and we will talk about the meaning, okay? So here we go, let's speak together. Let's say the sentences together. Five, four, three, two, one. I'll be back later. I'll be back later. I'll be back later. Okay, here it is. I'll be back later. Okay, the future, so I will, right? I will, that's future, I will be back later. I will be back mm -hmm. later. So I'm going to lunch and I will be back in the shop later. After I finish lunch, I will be back in the shop. Okay, here we go, number two. I am going to Italy in two weeks. 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 Okay, in, that is a definite period of time, for sure, right? So, um, in, okay, so that's a definite, period of time, two weeks, right? That We can see that on the calendar. In two weeks, I am going to Italy. I am going to Italy in two weeks. No, <laughs> I want to, I can't. I'm working, I'm at the university. Oh no, I want to go to Italy. Okay, here we go, card number three. I left home at six and arrived in Tokyo <laughs> three hours later. I left home at six and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. I left home at six and arrived 
in Tokyo three hours later. I left home at 6, past tense. We're using later in the past. <clears throat> I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Okay, so it's a time phrase and here it's, it's a period of time and it's a definite period of time. Here we're using it in the past tense. I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. So what time did I arrive in Tokyo? What time did, <coughs> what time did I arrive in Tokyo? Yes, 9, 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. Okay, so I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Start to finish, start to finish. Okay, here we go. Number four, card number four. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, definite period of time. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I'll be back in 10 minutes. So, I will return here in 10 minutes. It's a definite period of time. You can count on it. You can see the clock. I will, I will not be late. It will be, I will be on time for sure in 10 minutes. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will be back in 10 minutes. I will be here in 10 minutes. Don't worry. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, good. Number five. Here we go. Number five. I'll call you after the meeting. I'll call you after the meeting. I'll call you after the meeting. Okay, so I'll call you after the meeting. So we use after for future, okay? So it's like later, but we use it for the future, okay? So I will call you after the meeting. So um, there, it's not a definite period of time, okay? I'm, when, when the meeting finishes, then I will call you. So after the meeting, I will call you. So I don't know the time. I can't say in 10 minutes. Um, I can say later. So I can call you later after the meeting. I can call you later after the meeting. So um, I'm not sure how long the meeting will be, but when it finishes, I will call you after we finish. I, I'll call you after the meeting. Okay, so future, when it finishes, I will call you. Okay, number six, here we go. We will contact you within two weeks. We will contact you within two weeks. We, we will contact you in two weeks. No, sorry, within two weeks. Sorry, sorry, my mistake, one more time. We will contact you within two weeks. We will contact you within two weeks. We will contact you within two weeks. Yeah, Mary. Or no, not Mary. Lolly. Yes, Lolly. Lolly, we can say, I'll see you later after the meeting. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here we go. We will contact you within two weeks. So we're not sure of the time. We don't know, uh, don't know the exact time. We don't know exactly when, but within two weeks. So within that period of time, we will contact you. So we don't know exactly. So it's not in, we will call, we will contact you in two days. No, no. We will contact you in five days. No, no, no. We will contact you within two weeks. So we're not sure, but within those two weeks, we will contact you but we don't know exactly. We don't know exactly. Okay, here we go. Card number seven. You're welcome, Lali. Okay, here we go. Number seven. The train will arrive within the hour. <clears throat> the train will arrive within the hour. The train will arrive within the hour. We will... Uh, blah, blah, blah. The train will arrive within the hour. The train 
will arrive within the hour. Okay, so within, we don't know exact time, but if this is an hour, within this time, within this period, within this period, the train will arrive. We don't know exactly, we don't know exactly, but within this time, it will arrive. Okay, here we go. Number eight. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. I'll see you after work. 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 Okay, so we don't, I don't, I'm not giving you an exact time, right? I'm not giving you an exact time, but after work, I'll see you, right? So when maybe you're at the pub, okay? Let's meet at the pub. After work, I'll see you. Um, so after work, I'll see you. So after work, I will go to the pub. I, I'm not telling you a time. I'm not saying five o'clock. I'm not saying six o'clock. I'm saying uh, I'll see you after work. So when I finish work, I will come to the pub and see you, okay? I'll see you after work. Okay, good, good, good. That is shadowing. We were practicing speaking and we talked about the meaning. So let's, let's check it off. It's done, it's completed. Okay, let's take turns now. And I have a card right here. And when I say the sentence, we're going to see it. The sen when, I, when I'm speaking, we're going to see the sentence. However, when you're speaking, I'm going to cover the sentence. So you have to say the sentence by only looking at the picture. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. So let's go. I will go first, then you will go. I will go, then you will go. Okay, so we will take turns. Okay, I am first. I'll be back later. Now it's your turn. I'll be back later. I'll be back later. Uh, Rose. I, I don't know. I don't understand sound. Yeah, Rose, ask it like a different. So you want to listen only by sound? So I'm not sure, Rose. Okay, here we go. Card number two. Stumble guy, we're doing, we're, we're practicing the cards, okay? So say these with, with us, okay? Here we go. I am going to Italy in two weeks. Now it's your turn. Go. I am going to Italy in two weeks. I am going to Italy in two weeks. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that, Sleepwalker. That would be great, but I don't know about that. Only in voice messages? I, maybe that would be great, huh? Okay, here we go. Card number three. I left home at six and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. That's a long sentence. Go. I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours early. I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo 
Three hours later. Okay, go. That's a long sentence. I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Okay, yeah, Rose, I, okay, I, yeah, so that's almost like, you know, sending um, tape recordings, right? So, so Rose, maybe like sending a recorded voice. You, you can do that, Rose. You can, you can like on your, your smartphone, you can um, record your voice and then you can send it through email. You can do that. That's possible. And so you send like a recording, a voice recording through email. You can do that. Okay, here we go. Number four. Stumble guy. We're, we're doing this, okay? We're doing this right now. Okay, here we go. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Go. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, next card. I'll call you after the meeting. I'll call you after the meeting. I'll call you after the meeting. Oh, so Rose, you're talking, that's like, um, that's like, like, that's like um, FaceTime or something, right? Okay, next card. We will contact you within two weeks. We will contact you within two weeks. We will contact you within two weeks. Actually, um, Rose, we do Zoom. If, you, if you're a member, we do Zoom meetings once a month. And so we do meetings on Zoom once a month. So if you click on the join and you can see, you know, the starter level, the standard level, the professional level. So we do once a week or once a month, we do Zoom meetings. Rose, so check out the Zoom or check out the join button and you can see the different levels of mem membership and what we do each level, the kinds of um, things we do. Okay, here we go. Card number seven. The train will arrive within the hour. <laughs> Thank you, Miley. The train will arrive within the hour. Okay, stumble guy, bye. Why don't you want to do this together? Why? The train will arrive within the hour. Yeah, Tomas, that's right. So Zoom is a good way to communicate. Miley, not this Sunday. The Zoom meeting is the 25th. Is that this Sunday? Oh, boy. Today's the 20th. Yeah, yeah, this Sunday. Wow, I can't believe it. it goes so fast. Yep. So our Zoom meeting is Sunday the 25th. I'll see you after work. I'll see you after work. I'll see you after work. You could join the Zoom by joining the channel. Okay, that was taking turns. We're taking turns. Okay, good, good, good. All right, last step. 
the quiz. It's time for the quiz, everyone. So I'm going to shuffle the cards. We don't know the first card. We don't know the second card. We don't know the third card. Oh, Rose, I don't, yeah, so, like, Rose, I don't have time for online lessons. I don't have time for that. I'm too busy, Rose. I'm sorry. But if you want to, um, once a month, if you want to, um, you know, have talk to each other, like, in the group, we, we have a Zoom meeting once a month. But I don't have time for for one-on-one -on -one lessons. I don't have time. I'm sorry, Rose. I'm, I'm busy with university work. And, and YouTube takes. So university and YouTube, that's all my time. So I'm sorry, Rose. I don't have any free time. Okay, here we go. Three cards for the quiz. In the chat, write the sentence. Whoa, the first card's a difficult one. Here we go. Hey, Amy's here. Okay, write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence in the chat? Write the sentence in the chat. Okay, it's a long one. Oh, Fabricio. I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Wow, Fabricio. Good memory. Sleepwalker, I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Nice, Sleepwalker. Yeah, Bahar, I understand. It's a long sentence. I understand, Bahar. Don't worry. It's okay, Bahar. Number, okay, Tetsuro, I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Very good. Rose, oh. oh, Rose, thank you so much. I, I appreciate your kinds. I appreciate that, Rose. Thank you. But I'm sorry. I don't have time. I'm so sorry. YouTube, it's like all my time, and then I work at university, and so I'm so sorry. I wish, I'd, I, wish I had time for one-on-one, um, -on -one, you know, those kind of um, lessons, but I don't. I'm sorry. Okay, Lolly, I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Very good. Samuel, I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Mary, I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Trolley, I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Okay, Sadak, I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Umesh, I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Okay, Rose. Yeah, maybe in the you ne we never know the future. You know, we never know. I might get, you know, I'm getting older. And maybe the university tell me, Mark, you're too old. <laughs> I'm, I'm 59. And so maybe in the future, the university is going to say, Mark, you're too old. We want younger, we want young teachers. <laughs> Oh, so, but we never know the future. Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. And here's the sentence. I left home at 6 and arrived in Tokyo three hours later. Sleepwalker, how much time do you need to be... Okay, how much time... Do, okay, how much time does it take you to be in Tokyo? How, how much time, or how long does it take you to get to Tokyo? How long does it take you to get to Tokyo? So for me, if I take the, the, the bullet train, it's about, I think about two hours for me. It's about two hours to get to Tokyo. Maybe two and a half hours. I, I forgot. I haven't been to Tokyo for, for a while now. But the bullet train's pretty fast. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Card number two for the quiz. Do you remember the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? 
Yes, Lee Parker. How long does it take you to get to Tokyo? Uh, Rose, mwah, thank you so much. No, I, the, the students like me. My, my, my university students are young, of course, and they like me, and we, we have fun together. So I'm still good. I'm still good. <laughs> I'm still young. I have a young heart. I have a young heart. Okay, here we go. Card number two. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, Fabrizio, how long does it take you to get to Tokyo? Yeah, it takes me about two hours maybe. Sleepwalker, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Amy, I left work at 1.30 p.m. in London time. Oh, so Amy, did you see the, the Queen Elizabeth's funeral yesterday? I watched it yesterday on TV. Were you there? Did you see the, the Queen's hearse? Did you see that? Tetsuro, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Mary, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Two hours, that's not so long, Tomas. It's not so bad. You're sitting on the bullet train. It's comfortable. Have a beer. It's, it's not, it's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> okay, here is the card. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Very good, everyone. We have one more card. One more, everyone. Yeah, so I watched the funeral too, Tetsuro, last, yesterday. Yesterday evening. Pretty emotional, yeah? It was emotional. Yeah, Tomas, you watched it. Yeah, so it was, it was emotional, right? Like, I had some tears in my eyes. Like, you know, I'm not English. I'm American, and I don't believe in kings and queens. Like, I don't think that's... I don't believe in that, right? Just because you're born doesn't mean you should be king. Anyways... Um, but watching it, all the, you know, the, the pageantry, right? All the, the marching bands and the uniforms and, and all the people from around the world. It was emotional. I had some tears of emotion and I was surprised. I was surprised. It was, I enjoyed it. It was, I thought it was, it was really nice to see. And, um, I, I haven't been to church in a long time, so it was kind of nice to see, you know, the, the choir and to see the church and to hear the, the people speaking in the church. And so it, it was nice. I enjoyed it. And then watching, you know, them carry the queen's um, casket and see her crown, see her, her um, sapphire, see her, her sphere and, and see the... I forgot what the, the long, like not a spear, but, oh, I forgot what that's called. But anyways, it was, it was amazing and it was emotional for sure. Yeah. And, and London, like I've never been to London, but all the buildings, it was like really beautiful. It was a nice day. The skies were blue and all the people standing on the street watching the, the queen her 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 um her casket you know her lying in rest that was amazing and seeing the future king and the future you know of of London and and England so it was it was amazing I enjoyed it yeah it was history it was history it was history in the making yeah Tomas so she's an amazing woman so. If it was a different queen or a different king, it would probably be different. But because Queen Elizabeth lived so long, 96 years, and she was queen for so long, and she did so many things for people in the world, it was, and, and it was amazing. It was amazing. Okay, here we go. Sorry, sorry, we we're talking about um, the funeral last night. Okay. I'll be back later. Mary says, I'll be back later. Lolly says, I'll be back later. Sleepwalker says, I'll be back later. Trolley says, I'll be back later. And here it is.
Uh, Amy, yeah, I'm getting emotional now. Just say, Amy says, I've been in the UK for, for um, a long time. I'm going to miss her, especially um, she was passing Christmas messages and wishes. Yeah, so, so yeah, um, yeah, I'm starting to get emotional again because, you, you know, when she does things for people and people appreciate it and they love her for that. And so, um, and then when someone dies, who, you know, someone who is, an important person they do wonderful things for people and then when they die it's sad right and so um, it's sad that she died but she had a long life 96 years old so she had a, a longer life than most people she had a you know of course queen so she had you know a, a special life that other people don't have and so yeah so it, it was sad Okay, I'll be back later. Okay, good job, everyone. That was dictation cards. You did it. <laughs> Woo, I'm, I am tired. I had school this morning, and then I also have, this. so today, I am tired today. <laughs> you know, we didn't do Lolly's Revenge. I'm sorry, it's already 7.15. We're over two hours. We haven't done Lolly's. We're going to do Lolly's Revenge next week, okay? We, we did a lot of the worksheet, and we watched the video. And you get the worksheet on my Patreon in PDF file, but it's also on my YouTube homepage. And so watch the video. Do the worksheet. Lots of – do more practice, right? It's – we talked about um, using – the verb tense with, with time phrases, right? So going to is a future tense, right? Going to eat, going to play, going to see, going to do. And so when you use <clears throat> the future tense, you have in, in using a time phrase, you, the time phrase phrase needs to be in the future, right? So I'm going to see. I'm going to watch TV tonight. I'm going to watch TV tonight, right? So going to watch, that's the future. And then tonight is the time phrase for the future. I'm going to watch TV tonight, right? And then present perfect. So then you need to use the present time phrase. So I have seen, I have, okay, if we use already, right? Completed, it's completed. I have already seen the movie this week. I have already seen that movie this week, okay? So it's completed. I have already seen the movie this week. So, so this week is present, right? Present tense. I have already seen the movie this week. And then if follow up, when, 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 and so we're using a past tense. I saw it yesterday. I saw it yesterday. So past tense and the time phrase is in the past. Okay. So anyways, here it is. Get it on Patreon. Support me. You know, it takes time for me to make these. So um, Patreon, you have to support me, but you get all the, the worksheets. So um, please check it out. Okay. And um, I will be back on Friday. Okay. On Friday, so now I'm on my usual schedule, Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays. So I will be back on Friday. So our next class is Friday. That is September, September 23rd, September 23rd, and that's at 10 a.m., at 10 a.m., Okay, so I'm in Japan, so that's Japan time. So our next class is Friday, September 23rd at 10 a.m. So I hope to see you then. Please come back and see me. And um, until then, peace and love to you and your family. Mwah. And um, smile, stay safe, be healthy. Smile. Stay safe and be healthy, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. <clears throat> sorry, Lolly. Lolly, we will do Lolly's Revenge next week, okay? I'm sorry, Lolly. We, we didn't um, 
have time today. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're on our regular schedule now at Tetsuro. So our regular schedule, Tuesdays, 5 p.m., Fridays, 10 a.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. Corey, hello. Mwah. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Corey. Okay, well, um, hope to see you on Friday. Let's say goodbye together, shall we? Let's say goodbye together. Cecilia, thank you. Mary, thank you. Love and peace, Mary. Okay, let's count down to say goodbye together. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. I will be back on Friday, 10 a.m., September 23rd, 10 a.m. Japan time. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. See you. Bye.